Hi, my name's Tom. This is a 73 Lincoln Continental that's for sale. Uh, I'm going to show you a cold start and show you all the little issues with it so that the next owner knows what they're getting into. Um, first of all, I parked it last night and you can see that the headlights are still down. So they work. They stay down for about four or five days. You can see the interior, it's white leather. The rear seat belt's never been, middle seat belt's never been used. It's got some minor stains, but it's in pretty good shape. And there's actually, we have a second replacement for the driver's seat. This is the worst of the seats, not surprisingly. Uh, the dash, everything's in good shape. This is all perfect. Uh, the AC doesn't work. It's got that automatic air conditioning vent that doesn't work. So let's crank it up. Lights and gauges all work. Well, of course, the clock doesn't work. Um, you can see it's got plenty of oil pressure. And it's got Flowmaster mufflers on it. Seat belt, it's got three point seat belts, the kind that snap together. real quiet inside all you hear is a nice little flow master sound the front suspension needs a rebuild it uh, you know it, hold, it goes fairly straight but uh, it's wearing the tires unevenly and it won't hold an alignment so it does need a full rebuild So I'm going to take it for a drive and get it warmed up, and then I'll be back. Okay, the car is warmed up now. It's about 180 degrees. Uh, and at that point, it's got about 30, 35 pounds of oil pressure. So it's got good oil pressure. This car was uh, owned by a little old lady, and it was, uh, I guess she passed away, and the car was parked under a tree. So that's why the leather is still in pretty good shape it didn't get too much sun and uh, it was parked because it had a problem with the oil pump and my friend bought it and he fixed the oil pump and uh, they were smart enough not to drive it when it was low on pressure so that's why it's still got good oil pressure uh, let's see it's got 151,000 miles on it right now Power windows work, left front, right front. I'm not sure if the back ones, let's see, right rear moves. Left rear, I don't think this one works. No, no dice. And I don't think it works from back here either. Oh, that's the light. Um, 
door locks, power door locks. Uh, let's see the seat back and forth, tilt, look, tilt the back up, tilt the front up, that all works. A remote mirror, that still works. Cigarette lighter works. Wipe wash, so let's see. Yep, that works. Must have intermittent. Okay, that's park. Um, turn signals. A little slow, but they work. Uh, it's got cruise control, although I doubt it works. The right side remote mirror, that works. Uh, tape deck, I'm not sure if this works, but it's the modern, not the 8-track, but the better one. I haven't really used it, the radio works fine. <laughs> Okay, so the car's warmed up. I'm gonna do a little acceleration run. Uh, there was a problem with the uh, carburetor. It needs a uh, accelerator pump, I believe. It just needs a rebuild. It kind of stumbles off idle if you're really, really for it. But it's got pretty good to get it up. So, you know, a little timing problem, but as long as you're uh, easy on the throttle, it runs great. Brakes were great. Disc brakes in the front stop really fast. Probably use some shocks. Under the hood, it's all stock. Stock air cleaner, stock carburetor, stock everything. I even got the, you know, the AC pump. Nothing was removed, even if it didn't work. Vacuum canister, miles and hoses. Love 
box to get a trunk release. Oh, I guess the key needs to be on. Uh, a couple other neat things. Uh, the parking brake will automatically release when you put it into gear, so you don't have to push it or pull it or anything. Um, the parking pawl on the transmission doesn't always hold the car on a hill, so that's very important. It needs a parking pawl or a transmission rebuild. One or the other. It's not too expensive to rebuild a C6. Back seat. It's got ashtrays. Cigarette lighters in the back. Uh, light and window switches in the back. Trunk's all original. Spare tire cover. Uh, you got all these books, all the original books. If you have a 73 Lincoln, you have to buy the book for everything. So I've got electrical, chassis, lubrication, all that kind of good stuff. All come with the car. Original labels, everything's very original car. Original white paint. Okay, that's the Continental. One last issue, there's uh, not really any rust on this car other than, of course, usual areas. I don't know if you can see if there's a couple, there's some bumps all along here. So obviously it's getting rusty in there. But they're pretty solid, they're not crunchy yet, if that means anything. But down here, it's all good. here all good and I really like how the body panels line up on this car I mean the doors everything fits really tight maybe a little something right there more bubbles over here. Solid bubbles. You notice the hood lines up really well like too. It's got a really long hood on it. But the springs are all good. You know on GM cars they start to lift up right here. This one's this one's better.